All right, everybody. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to quickly walk you through how to change your email signature in your Gmail account. You can change it to an image. You can use a GIF. You can just use text if you'd like. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to do that. Okay, so first things first, you will have to log into your Gmail account through a browser. Whether you use Chrome, Internet Explorer, or Firefox, whatever it is you use, go to gmail.com, log into the Gmail account that we're changing the signature for. Once you pull it up, it'll pull it up like a normal Gmail account. Okay, over here in the top corner, you have a little gear icon that's going to open up our quick settings. Okay, we still want to go to see all settings right underneath. Click on that. Once we get in here, we're going to scroll to the bottom until we find signatures. Now, if you already created a signature in here, you can create another one with this image and you can delete the old one, whatever you want to do. But if you don't have one, we're going to click create new. Now you can name this anything that you'd like. I am going to name this Sean one in case I create another Gmail signature later. Okay, hit create. Once that opens, it's going to pull up a little box on the side. Click inside of there, and you're going to see a little icon here that says insert image. Click on that, and we're going to go to upload. Okay, now if you remember where you downloaded your email signature picture, hopefully you did, click here, and we're going to find it. All right, once you find it, click on it, and then click open. That's going to upload it to the box. Okay, now you're not going to see it in the box at first because the image is oversized. Scroll down inside of the box till you find the image. Click on it, and it's going to pull up size options. Okay, large seems to work perfectly, and that just fits well with the email. Okay, so if you want to add your website as a link to this image, that way if anybody clicks on it, it will direct them right to your website. We have to highlight it first. Okay, after you highlight it, right beside where we inserted the image, there is a link button. Click on that while the picture is highlighted. Once you do that, you can just add your website right in the second line. Now, if you don't know your website or you still have a very long website address, you can go to your KV Core and copy paste it into this box. Uh, if you have trouble finding that, just shoot me a text or an email and I'll guide you through it. But for now, I'm just going to put in my website right here, seanbinner.com. Click OK. Now my website is linked to this image. Now we got one more step right here where it says signature defaults. It says no signature in both of these boxes. We want to change that. So click on the drop down, find the signature that we just made, and then add those. Okay, make sure they're both in there and then scroll to the bottom of the page and click Save Changes. So that's how you change your email signature. Now, if you want to double check, now that we're on this screen, you can hit Compose, and your email sh signature should pop up right there. All right, thanks for watching.